Hi everyone, my name is Joyce. I'm currently running the Zhejiang University International Business Schools at the Missions Division. Uh, today we will go through uh, four sections. Firstly, about Zhejiang University and our business school. Secondly, is on the undergraduate GCM program. Uh, the third part will cover six uh, master programs that we offer. And last part will be campus facilities and general questions if we have any. So where are we? Currently, um, Zhejiang University is located in the Yangtze River Delta region, which is one of the most economically dynamic region in China. And we are a kind of center between Shanghai and Hangzhou. In terms of Zhejiang University, we are ranking uh, number 42 uh, globally in the QS World University ranking in 2020. International Business School uh, is established in 2018. So we are number 37th colleges of Zhejiang University. And currently we offer one bachelor degree program and uh, six master programs. We will go through each one of them. Um, and if you have questions, please leave message in the end. Uh, we have a very diverse and com comprehensive ecosystem, which ranges from university, um, copper, like Aunt Group and Alibaba, and as well as international institutions around the world. So let's start uh, with the GCM undergraduate program. GCM stands for Global Communication and Management. Uh, it is a four year full-time English top program in our international campus. And when you graduate, you will receive the Zhejiang University BA degree. The current stu student ratio will be eight to one. And we have a really diverse international student community with the heart. Here are some uh, modules. Uh, the entire course could be broken down into three parts. One will be cover from Chinese language and China studies. Another one is on finance, business, and management. The third one would be, would be more on global communication and intercultural competence. So if you log in on our official website, you could have a taste of our curriculum range from management, economics, communication, and foundation course. Here are some of our events. A lot of uh, international students are interested in coming to China to study. And since the 9th of January, 2023, so literally one month ago, all the international students can now enter the border without any, without any quarantine. So uh, you guys are very welcome to uh, study with us physically and with no more quarantine involved. Here are some of our external lectures available that apart from our academic courses. So here are a scholarship Snapchat. And we have a really diverse student community. And this is a part of the countries that our student coming from. So this is Ranger from Asia, Europe, um, America, both cover North America and Latin America. Since the sun is not available, um, I will skip the video, but everyone is very welcome to access our YouTube channel to view this uh, video. The admission process for our GCEM program um, is opening right now. Um, we are doing a rolling basis. So if you apply early, we'll always have an earlier advantage than others. And the deadline for the final round will be on the 30th of April. Uh, you can literally just log in our portal system and start applying. The fee will be 65,000 RMB per year and up to four years. So that will be 260,000 RMB for the entire program. So now we are entering into our uh, master program. So uh, the first I would like to introduce to you all is the International Master of Finance. This is a two year full-time program. Uh, it's mainly taught in English and we have both domestic and uh, international student. And the orientation and also kind of the direction is focused on digital finance and fintech. Uh, we can see from the curriculum, which covers from uh, economics, finance, and also uh, more on the coding, blockchain kind of quantitative side. We also offer Chinese Mandarin as alternative um, courses if you are interested to uh, learn more Mandarin. Uh, we also have a very um, strong corporate networks domestically and internationally. So in terms of the finance master program, 
you will have uh, strong support from our industrial mentor from different industries. And here is one of our Thailand uh, student who is currently working at the Lian Pei. Um, so that's, that internship opportunity is offered by ZIPS, uh, by our international business school, uh, given the corporate network resources that we have. Uh, this is uh, our IMBA. So the IMBA could be down either full-time, so two years, or part-time, 2.5 years. Uh, this is a master degree, and we more focus on the international business direction in general. Uh, the curriculum ranges uh, from kind of HR, corporate finance, management, uh, leadership, uh, and also some corporate, corporate uh, accounting, marketing, uh, and other modules as well. Uh, we are, since we are a very international, uh, diverse business school, uh, our, we offer a wide range of uh, exchange uh, program as well. So here are some of our collaborative university that you potentially could be exchanged with. Here are some uh, external activities uh, that we usually offer to our students across different industries. Here is the Master of Data Science program. Um, it's a 2.5 years full-time program. And this is really for those who have a strong uh, mathematical background students. Um, usually we accept students from a STEM background, so more engineering, mathematicals part. Uh, this is a really hardcore uh, degree. So the, curr the curriculum will be more on the computer science, AI, data, uh, kind of machine learning side. Our IMFA offers to those who are interested in the creative industry, so our fine arts kind of direction. This is a three-year full-time program, and we uh, have been doing this with the College of Media and International Culture at Georgia University. Here are some curriculum. So we do filming um, and media management, and also there are external electives that you could select to cover uh, international media and marketing. Here are some uh, filming courses um, that we have been doing. We also have our Metaverse campus that could be accessed online. So here are the admission information for MFA. Uh, for this course, you would require an HSK5 or above, but for the rest of the courses, um, we don't require any uh, Chinese Mandarin level in advance. So yeah, so um, that would be all for the program coverage. And our deadline would be uh, two and a half months away. So we strongly encourage everyone who are interested to study uh, in Zhejiang uh, in a international business school uh, to apply. No matter whether you are currently a high school student or a bachelor students who are about to graduate uh, by September this year. Also, uh, here are my email address and la landline number. So you can also write it down or take a screenshot. If you have further questions, you're very welcome to write or call to us. Uh, let me probably um, kind of wrap up with our iconic program called the Master of China Studies. So this is the first China studies program issued by the Ministry of Education in China. Uh, and it is the largest international master student program in Zhejiang University. And we really train um, kind of international expertise uh, who wants to bridge China uh, with their own nation uh, origin nationality. Here are certain collaborative universities. So we usually recruit students from those universities, but we also very welcome individual candidates to apply. Uh, here are some faculties who both taught in the Master of China Studies program as well as other uh, programs. Here are some curriculum. So we cover from either China Business Studies or China Culture and Society. So you are also free to choose the optional modules between them. Here are some degree requirements for the course. And as a business school, we really value uh, external corporate experience in companies. So in here, we really take students, international students around China and inside the Chinese corporate to know how the business is doing uh, in a real scenario. Here are some of our alumni coming from different parts of the world. 
we have more than 600 alumni um, cover from more than uh, 70 countries. So here are some requirements. Uh, for all those details, you are very welcome to visit on our official website. There will be detailed application guide and also link to apply. We also offer certain scholarship for those programs, but we strongly encourage you to apply early to kind of have a higher chances to get them. Yeah, some deadline. Um, and also we are doing interview uh, already. So if you haven't uh, got them, yeah, you should uh, apply soon. Let me uh, kind of finalize everything with some pictures from our international campus. Uh, we are really diverse, international and harmonious community here in Zhejiang. And we offer single to double room for each average student. And the accommodation fee uh, is 8,000 RMB for one academic year. We have a very abundant resources, uh, course from library, uh, sports hall, and also dining hall. Uh, yeah, in terms of transportation, because we are in the great metropolitan area, it's really close to everywhere. Um, to Shanghai, it takes like an hour bullet train. And to within Hangzhou, uh, we also have our internal uh, subway to travel around. Yeah, I think that's all from my part. Um, I'm happy to take any questions if we have any. Yes, we have a couple of questions. So one of the questions that students asked was to um, look at the, the scholarship page for just a little bit longer. Maybe they want to take a screenshot of it or just make note of it. Sure. Um, which program are they? Uh, okay. Uh, so here is our MCS scholarship. Um, so in terms of the high scholarship, we actually offer two ranges. One is the first class. So this will be a full coverage. And another second class scholarship would be offer up to 30,000 RMB. And so this is for mass or the master potentially. Uh, I also have uh, one for the bachelor degree program here. So this is more, um, yeah, so this is uh, the second class scholarship. So the coverage usually um, ranges, like covers 50% of the first year tuition fee. And in the coming academic year, if students perform well, we will also give out uh, kind of academic merits uh, as excellent student award at the end of each academic year. Okay, great. And then you also mentioned that there are there's accommodation options for students. So would you recommend them to study uh, to live on campus or do you think that's the best option for students to live on campus yeah. or off campus? Uh, indeed, I mean, we offer every international student at least one a single room coverage at the campus. I would suggest you to stay here because it's quite a big, big campus around. But if you feel like you want to explore more, you are also very welcome to make your own choices. Great. And are there, is there any entrance um, requirement, like an entrance test requirement? Um, it will depend on which degree programs. Um, I would say if you have a certain degree programs on mind, do visit our official website's degree program section. In the application guide, they have all the details and the criteria. And usually we take an um, English um, certificate minimum result. Uh, and also see someone ask if Dolingo is accepted. Yes, we accept Dolingo as an alternative. Um, so for bachelor is 100 minimum. Dolingo score in English test. And for master, it's 120 minimum score uh, as well. Um, and for, for particularly master of finance and master of data science, we prefer to have a strong mathematical background uh, in order to catch up with the fast paced uh, courses ahead. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Joyce. And thank you for your presentation. I'm sure that everyone has been able to get all the necessary information.
And it's a really great opportunity for a lot of students because it's very popular programs that people are interested in. So very high quality education as well. So if anyone has any further questions, please make sure to email Ms. Joyce or you can also leave them in the Q&A question box down below. If you feel like you've maybe missed any information, you would like to go over anything again, um, please note that we are live streaming this on YouTube and it will be saved there so you can re-watch it if there's any extra information that you need or if you join the bit later on. So thank you so much Ms. Joyce for joining. Thank you Saskia.